you're gonna do? This with Hulkamania destroys you! Rest in Gentlemen, welcome to Friday Night Smackdown Live here in beautiful San Jose, California. We are coming off an amazing Saturday Night's main event show where we saw Finn Balor retain the WWE Championship by questionable circumstances and we saw Shawn Michaels in his return match defeat Dirty Dominic Mysterio in a 30 minute Iron Man match. If you missed the show, make sure to go check it out. It was one hell of an event. But ladies and gentlemen, let's run you down SmackDown tonight. Following that Iron Man match, Shawn Michaels will be here live tonight to explain what his future holds here on SmackDown on his final run. Then Triple H has announced that we will have two King of the Ring qualifiers tonight, both with mystery opponents that Triple H will announce tonight. First will be Bobby Lashley. Then after last week's assault on Rhea Ripley, Liv Morgan and Carmelo will be making their way out here tonight to explain the assault. Then there's the other King of the Ring qualifier representing Alpha Academy, Cedric Alexander. Taking on one of the Triple H's mystery opponents. And then finally, Jey Uso got his brother's suspension lifted and he's hoping to talk some sense into Jimmy. Will he? We'll just have to wait and find out. As the crowd here ready to go and let's go. We are kicking things off with the Heartbreak Kid. The Icon is back and he looked better than ever at Saturday Night's main event. Once again, go check it out if you haven't already. He's bandaged up, he's bruised up, he's banged up. But he looks like a million bucks nevertheless. He looks ready to go. The Icon is back. Once again, I, I loved having the privilege of commentating the return of the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels. I enjoyed every second of it. And it was, it was a fun match. I'm excited to commentate the rest of Shawn's run here on SmackDown. I'm glad that he signed with SmackDown. I'm glad that we get to see the Heartbreak Kid's final run. This is an incredible opportunity, incredible experience. And you gotta wonder, Dominic's down, but who's next? Who is next for the Heartbreak Kid to go one on one with live here on Friday Night Smackdown. He did say he'd work Smackdown so maybe a match here on Smackdown is in the cards. Yeah, they were loud. I love being there. Oh, 
yeah, honestly, it was great to see Dominic put on that performance. Okay, I, I love the sound of that. Okay, so I am all... Wait. Wait, what the hell? No. No, 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 no. No, th these are the two... These are the guys that have been running the show the last couple weeks. Hacking into our production truck. These are the two that took out Cody Rhodes. That's why we don't have a general manager right now. Sean, what do you get the hell out of the ring, Sean? These two took out Cody. The other one took out Brandy. Get out of here, Sean. No. No way. Yo, let's go. The visionaries here. Seth freaking Rollins. Seth, oh, yeah, okay, yeah. All right, get in the ring now when it's a fair fight, when it's two on two, not two on one. Well, let's see how this goes. Seth and Sean, this can be one hell of a fight. Let's go. Come on. Too scared to get in the ring now, huh? Huh? He's got. Wait. Wait, Seth, what are you doing? No. Seth, pedigree! What? No, Seth. No, 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 no. Curve stomp! Oh. My. God. What the hell just happened? Is Seth, is Seth leading them? What the hell? Oh God, oh no. Oh man, come on. He's a legend, he's a Hall of Famer, he's 58 years old. He just went through a 30 minute Iron Man war at Saturday Night's main event. What the hell is wrong with these two? Oh, I, I think I see it. I think I saw a gash there on the head, on the side of the head of Sean. Yeah, right there. Sean already stitched up and bandaged up from his match with Dominic. That match was a bloody mess. I mean, after everything we've seen these two do, I, I mean, I guess that would explain why security is not here, but come on. Oh, come on. This is uncalled for. Get the hell out of there. Leave him alone. And what the hell is wrong with Seth? A damn right asshole. And oh, kick to the knee, Sean. Oh, come on. What the hell is wrong with these two? That is enough. Get the hell out. He's being down enough. No, oh, come on. Oh, Sean, fight back. Yes, Sean, let's go. Oh, oh, well, it was only a matter of time. And oh, Sean, Sean, fighting back. Oh, here we go. Let's go, let's go, Sean. Yes, let's go, get some punches in. Let's go. Oh, yes, let's go, heartbreak kid. Yo, you don't mess with Sean, let's go. Oh, wait, no. No, 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 no. Oh. Oh! Float over DDT. Good God. Stunner onto the ropes. Oh, God. Come on. Leave him alone. And oh, into the steel steps goes Sean. Oh, wait, are they leaving now? Is Sean getting up to his feet? Sean looking still wants to fight. Yeah, they're gone. They're nowhere to be seen. Sean needs to get to the medics. Good God, look at him. What does it mean to be a king? Being a king means you rule over a kingdom. You make the rules, you make the tough choices. 
But in the WWE, being king means... I just whipped your ass! King of the Ring will be live on both Powerball Mink and the Super Kick Theory YouTube channels coming soon. Make sure you hit subscribe on both channels so you don't miss the event. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are back live out here in the arena, as you heard it there. It's going to be Seth Rollins and Bobby Lashley kicking things off here on SmackDown. And I mean, what the hell is wrong with Seth? Honestly, what is wrong with Seth Rollins? Nevertheless, the almighty... The almighty Bobby Lashley has not been seen on SmackDown since No Mercy when he competed for the WWE Championship and lost the WWE Championship match. Uh, he, he had a bloody insane performance against Baron Corbin when he qualified for that scramble match, just jumping him from behind. Thankfully, we're not going to see that here tonight. As Bobby Lashley headed, in, headed down to the ring. And honestly, after what we just witnessed, oh, look, I, I try my hardest to be unbiased here on commentary, but after what we just witnessed, I hope Bobby Lashley beats the ever-living hell out of Seth Rollins. That was absolutely disgusting. As we get ready here to find out who will be advancing to the King of the Ring tournament. Of course, Jey Uso and Xavier Woods already advanced uh, two episodes ago. Oh, here comes the scumbag of the hour. Seth freaking Rollins. And Sean is being looked at by our medical staff right now. Honestly, what is wrong with this guy? Seth Fr freaking Rollins. Last SmackDown, he, he lost in the steel cage match after jumping from the top of the damn cage for a curb stomp. Then Saturday night's main event, he appeared and cost the Miz the WWE Championship, which we will cover a bit later on. I just I can't believe can't believe what's going on right now. But and now tonight, Sean's out here about to announce that he wants to be in King of the Ring, and Seth comes out and just attacks him, leaving him for dead to the attackers. Good God! Well, nevertheless, here Seth freaking Rollins. Bobby Lashley one-on-one -on -one here tonight on SmackDown the opener or opening contest one of two matches here tonight one of two qualifiers here tonight excited to see Cedric Alexander taking on The Miz later on tonight
And the bell is rung, and here we go. Lashley getting some momentum. No, oh, Seth with a huge knee to the face. I'm going to try and stay unbiased throughout this matchup, but as Seth stomping onto the arm of Lashley. I mean, how can Seth just come out here singing and dancing like that after what he just did? I mean, it's like he has no remorse. It's like he has no feelings. As he just stomps into the chest of Lashley, bounces off the ropes, and oh, big drop kick from Seth Rollins to the Almighty. And oh, big knee to the face of Bobby Lashley. As Seth throws Lashley into the ropes. Oh, over the top rope goes Bobby Lashley. As Seth gets outside of the ring. And he throws Lashley into the steel steps. And I don't know how much I want to believe Seth's not a part of that, uh, that group. That was a bit suspicious. And oh, Seth throwing Lashley over the barricade. Oh, big super kick from Seth. These two taking it to the crowd. The crowd here in San Jose getting a bit closer to Bobby Lashley and Seth Rollins than I think they thought they would. And oh, big kick to the head of Bobby Lashley as Seth and Bobby fighting in between fans here. Forearm to the face of Bobby Lashley by Seth Rollins. And oh, Lashley stops himself before he hits a fan. And Seth and Bobby going back and forth here in the in the uh, the crowd as Bobby head over the barricade. Seth head over the barricade. Count nine. And remember back from the first episode in this new era of SmackDown, Seth actually advanced to No Mercy by countout. He beat uh, Sami Zayn by countout. So it would be kind of funny to see Seth lose here tonight via countout. As oh wait, Bobby picked up Seth. Seth falls down. Rolls about one. Two. Oh, wait. Oh, Seth now. Whoa. Bobby. Oh, and kick out from Seth. There you saw just that nice athleticism from Seth. And oh, forearm. Oh, well, actually, no sells it. And forearms him back. Forearm again. And a big clothesline from the Almighty. Let's go. And a forearm to the face. And a kick to the face. And he throws Seth. Oh, Seth bumps into Charles Robinson. And oh, Seth with a, uh, a forearm to the face. Goes up to the middle rope. Oh, beautiful move from Seth. And a beautiful forearm from Seth Rollins here. Nope. Goes down. Flips him over. Kick to the chest of Bobby Lashley by Seth freaking Rollins. And Seth rolls Lashley into the corner. Oh, here we go. Takes him down again. And another kick to the chest. Seth Rollins, he can sure he has his knee brace on. He did not have his knee brace on at Saturday night's main event. And from what Seth himself said on X, and from what I've heard, the doctors were not pleased with him. Nor were they pleased after that curb stop off the damn cage last week. Or last episode, I should say. As Seth throws Lashley into the ropes. Ducks down again. Oh, here we go for the third time. Kick to the chest of Bobby Lashley. Good God. And here we go, punch to the face. Oh, Bobby walks it off. Big clothesline from Bobby Lashley. As he picks up Seth. Throws him into the corner. Big clothesline. And he picks up Seth here. For him to the face. Oh, and slams him down hard on the mat. That's what you'll like to see. And oh. Seth with a punch to the face of Bobby Lashley. And Bobby with a chop to Seth. And a chop from Seth to Bobby. Here we go. They're going back and forth. Punch for punch. Or chop for chop. Tit for tat. Here we go. Back and forth. Who's going to take the advantage? 
And oh, Bobby fighting back. Big boot from Bobby Lashley to Seth Rollins. And Rollins rolling to the outside of the ring for safety. But Lashley not letting him get away. Big elbow to the gut of Seth Rollins by Bobby Lashley. And he'll throw Seth into the barricade. Oh, Sam runs, rams him back first into the barricade. And oh, once again, throws him right into the barricade hard. And again, Bobby not holding back at all, not letting up. No, Seth with a kick to the gut. And Seth throwing Bobby into the ring. The referee was at a count, a count of six now. And Seth, oh! Oh! Seth caught Charles Robinson on the way down. Seth caught Charles with that big knee on the way down. Off that springboard knee. And Bobby takes him down hard as Charles just laying there. Oh, and Seth cut open. I don't know when that would have happened, but... Seth throws Bobby against the ropes. Ducks down. Oh, here we go again. Another brutal kick to the chest. And he throws Bobby against the ropes. And oh, sling blade from Seth Rollins as Charles gets up to his feet. And Seth bounces off the ropes. Big knee to the face of Bobby Lashley. And a punch to the face and a chop. And a forearm. It's good to see Charles Robinson back up to his feet here. As our, our buddy Robinson's taking too much damage. He's taking too much of a beating here on SmackDown. Of course, he wasn't the official at uh, Saturday Night's Man Event. A big boot from Bobby Lashley. And oh, oh, Seth with an elbow to the face of Lashley. Sling blade from Seth. Oh, big kick to the uh, head of Bobby Lashley here. The SmackDown official Charles Robinson calling all the action here every single week on SmackDown. Another kick to it. Good God. It's going to freaking impale Bobby's chest. Oh, Bobby. No. Oh, we just pissed off Bobby Lashley. Bobby the form. And another. And another. And a big boot. Good God. As Bobby following Seth to the outside of the ring here. And he throws Seth into the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to remind you, this is to decide who will be advancing to the King of the Ring tournament. Remember, the King of the Ring tournament will be an all-night event live in London. The winner of the tournament will go on to SummerSlam to compete for the World Championship of their brand. So it could be one of these two men versus Finn Balor at SummerSlam, or a member of the Raw roster versus John Cena at SummerSlam. As the raw side of the bracket's already finished up and it, it looks solid, but I think SmackDown's got SmackDown's gonna have the better one by the end of the night. But we will have to see. But yes, yeah, Summer the King of the Ring will be an all-night event. Only the King of the Ring tournament, so make sure you turn on notification bells on both the Super Kick Theory and Powerball Ming channels so you do not miss it. As Seth now super kicked Bobby and now hits it with the pedigree. Is what is Seth's plan here? Seth trying to take a minute here, feeling the effects of this match, so we can see him kind of grasping at his arm. As he gets up to his feet, and he goes to the cover, hooks leg. One, two, three, no! Bobby Lashley kicks out at two. And Seth Rollins cannot believe it. No, oh, Seth kicks the gut, bounces off the ropes, and curb stomp. And he stomps on the arm and oh, going for it again? Yes, curves off once again. And he covers him and hooks the leg. One, two, three, no! Oh my God. Bobby Lashley just kicked out a two curb stomp. You gotta feel like Bobby's working on a spare! Good God, he just speared him in half. One, no, not even one, and Seth kicks out. 
Holy shit! And Bobby, oh, Bobby Weber punch with Seth counters forearm. Seth with a kick to the guy, bounces off the ropes, and another curb stomp driving Bobby's head into the mat. Covers him, hooks the leg, that's gotta be it. One, two, written, oh! Bobby Lashley just barely grabs onto the ropes and Charles sees it. Seth's picking up Lashley, ripcord knee strike. Bounces off the ropes. Big knee to the face of Lashley. And he picks him up again in another ripcord knee strike. And a big super kick from Seth here. And Bobby, I wonder how much Bobby has left in him. He managed to kick out two curb stomps and got a rope break for his efforts. And a big corner drop kick from Seth Rollins. And he picks up Lashley. Oh, Lashley fighting off. Punch to Seth. Bounces. Oh, no. He decided he second thought himself and that cost him. And Seth with another big knee to the face, or shin to the face, I should say. As he picks Bobby up. Oh, here we go. Seth again going for it. The pedigree. But Seth this time quicker to get up to his feet. And Seth, oh, picking Bobby up. Kick to the gut. Oh, you see Seth making sure center of the ring. Curb stomp. That's got to be it. One, two, three. And congratulations to Seth freaking Rollins. I may not be the biggest fan of him right now after what he did to Sean, but I can't discredit his victory. Bobby made him work for that one, though. He fought. That was not an easy thing to do. That was brutal in every sense of the word. It took, what, four curb stomps to put away Lashley. Just look at this. Beautiful curb stomp. And Lashley still kicked. Lashley kicked out of two curb stomps. Rope breaked on the third. And it was it on the fourth. With a couple pedigrees mixed in there. Look at this again. Just brutal curb stomp. Center of the ring. While I don't agree with what Seth Rollins has been doing. Seth Rollins is headed to king of the ring. So congratulations to the visionary. And we'll see if he can get closer to the WWE Championship. King of the Ring, but who will he be facing, The Miz or Cedric Alexander? We will find out later on tonight. If you want access to exclusive content, sneak peeks, early episodes of SmackDown, make sure you go subscribe to our Patreon, $5 a month. You get all kinds of exclusive content, early uploads, thumbnails, exclusive series, kicking off with Simpsons Hidden Run. Go subscribe. Link will be in the description below. Also, I want to say thank you to our current Patreon member, Powerbomb Inc., for helping support the channel. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. And oh, okay. Well, uh, we were supposed to be getting Liv Mella, but it looks like the women's champion has other plans. Rhea Ripley won the Women's Championship at No Mercy. Then the the SmackDown post No Mercy, she ended up getting into a brawl backstage with Carmella. Then last week during a match between Dakota Kai and Cora Jade, Rhea Ripley was seen getting beamed down backstage by Liv Mella. And Liv Mella was supposed to be out here tonight to explain their actions. As Rhea Ripley walking out here with the Women's title nice and snug on her shoulder. Now, Rhea, if you watch Saturday Night's main event, you know there's some uh, dissension in the Judgment Day. Bit of argument on who the leader of the group is. Finn Balor says it's now him. And he threatened to kick out both Rhea and JD if either one got involved in his WWE title match at Saturday Night's main event. Both of them stayed out of it, but you gotta wonder, how does Rhea feel being told that she's not the leader anymore? 
I mean, I guess we'll have to wait and see how that goes for Ripley, but nevertheless. Rhea looking ready to go here for whatever she's out here for. I mean, I guess she wanted to be face to face with Liv Mella in person. As Rhea putting the women's title up high. Okay, well, Rhea just cutting to the chase here. And oh, well. Well, there's uh, Carmella's theme song hitting. Well, are they making their way out? Yes, they are. Liv Mella, as they are calling themselves now. Making their way out here. The crowd waiting. Oh. Nope. I mean, yeah, that was a bit of an uncalled for assault. Yeah, let's go. Come on. Oh, wait, hold on. Lynn Mello just heading backstage, and what the hell? Okay, we, we saw the two male attackers at the start of the show. Now the female one's here? This is the one that took out Brandy. They're literally just invading the show. In a form. Good God. This has to be stopped. As Liv Mel is run backstage. And whoever the hell this is picking up Rhea Ripley. Carrying her up the up the ramp. This is the same, uh, I'm assuming the same person that attacked Brandy Rhodes. And what the hell is she doing? And oh my god, no, no, oh my god. Just threw Rhea Ripley off the damn stage, and now she's walking away. And Ripley just laid out. We need to get medical attention now. What the hell? Like what you see, see the alternative brand Monday Night Raw on the Powerball Mink YouTube channel on Mondays at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Friday Night Smackdown as we are now getting ready for our second King of the Ring qualifying match. Rhea Ripley has been taken to the back and is getting looked at by our medical staff. And oh, would you look at this, Cedric Alexander... Making his way out in some, uh, I guess, Alpha Academy inspired custom gear here. Of course, uh, Cedric Alexander trying to become a member of the Alpha Academy. Was training with Chad Gable and Drew Gulak. And Chad ultimately gave Cedric this opportunity. If Cedric wins, he's in Alpha Academy. But Chad did say if, Seth lo if Cedric loses, he's out. So this is a huge opportunity for Cedric. Not only is, if he wins does he go to King of the Ring. He wins, he joins Alpha Academy. So it's gonna be interesting to see how that goes. But he's facing awesome. a, a man who is very pissed off. A man who has everything to gain from here t from this vict from a victory here tonight in The Miz. The Miz competed in a steel cage match on the last episode of SmackDown, came out on top. With due to some interference from Finn Balor. Let's not leave that out. 
But you can see here, we're going to take a look. This was at Saturday night's main event. This was the closing moments of the one-on-one -on -one match between him and Finn Balor. The Miz sent to the outside of the ring. And out of nowhere, Seth Rollins came out and curb stomped him. Driving his face into the floor. Which ultimately led to that cur uh, coup de grace, sorry. And the one, two, three for Finn Balor. Ultimately deciding Finn Balor to keep the WWE Championship. So Finn, or Miz, has a lot to fight for your tank. He's pissed off. So, uh, Cedric, good luck. As the Miz looks focused here. Miz didn't exactly want to face Cedric, but he doesn't have much of a choice. So, it's going to be a huge match for the Miz. Match with him and Finn up until Seth's appearance was a, a fun match. It was back and forth. It was great. Of course, we ultimately knew it ultimately got ruined in a way by Seth. As you can see, King of the Ring qualifier. And the two men lock up. Call Rebel tie up. And Cedric with a quick suplex. Showing some of that alpha training. And, uh, Cedric was brought into Alpha Academy by Drew Gulak's request. Uh, after the No Mercy events, which led Chad Gable injured. And a punch to the face by The Miz. And another... And a punch to the, the shoulder of Cedric. And Miz driving his boot into the chest of Cedric. And a, a stomp into the chest. And another stomp right into the chest of Cedric. Stomps on him again. And kicks him hard into the... Uh, sending him into the mat. And a punch. And a punch. And another... Oh! But Cedric counters. Punch to the gut of the Miz. As here we go, and ladies and gentlemen, from what I have been told, the attackers are now nowhere to be seen. They came in, they beat up Shaw at the start of the show, they just beat up Rhea Ripley, and now they're nowhere to be seen. The big knee from Cedric. You know, Cedric with a nice springboard to the Miz. It's like almost as if the attackers have vanished. Oh, and Miz takes down Cedric. Cedric, uh, I don't think Chad's going to approve too much of that. A little uh, cockiness there from Cedric Alexander as it cost him. And the Miz now throwing Cedric into the ropes. Nope. Slam down on his knee. Neckbreaker from the Miz. As ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to remind you the winner of this match will be facing Seth Rollins live in London, England at King of the Ring as a part of the All Night Tournament. That's right. The entire King of the Ring Tournament will happen live at King of the, the King of the Ring pay-per-view not just the finals the whole tournament and the winner will go on to main event SummerSlam against their respective world champion and a big boot from The Miz which with that being said I would also like to point out that in a way the King of the Ring tournament means more for the brand along with the wrestler because obviously the wrestler gets the main event SummerSlam but it also gets Raw or SmackDown the SummerSlam main event which is a coveted spot especially in this new era and the Miz throws Cedric into the ropes oh punches over into the turnbuckle today delivers some hard punches and stomp into the chest of Cedric and again and Miz is just not playing around here Miz this is a must win match for the Miz in a way if he loses, he goes to the back of the line. He wants that WWE title. Continues to call uh, Seth Rollins a liability. And whether or not he's a liability, I guess is up to your own personal opinion. But Seth, uh, also from what I've been told, Seth has left the building. As soon as Seth won his match earlier tonight and got backstage, he went and grabbed the stuff and he left. And Shawn Michaels, ha I believe, is has been taken care of. I believe he's gotten some stitches. Uh, I will hopefully try and get you a full update soon. But Rhea Ripley currently being looked at our medical staff. After being thrown off the stage, goddamn. And Cedric, oh, big clothesline from Cedric. I'm sorry that I haven't been uh, doing my play-by-play, -play, but just there's been so much going on tonight. As Miz gets thrown to the outside of the ring. Cedric now calling for the Miz to get up to his feet. And Cedric bounces off the ropes. And oh, oh! And he misses. And the Miz just taking a minute to taunt. Miz getting back in the ring here. 
and Cedric. Oh, Cedric, Miz running his mouth, and Cedric grabs him and throws him back over the top rope. There's a crowd here up on their feet. Awaiting what's next. You know, Cedric now calling for the Miz to get back up to his feet. Miz ran his mouth, got thrown to the outside of the ring. Cedric bouncing off the ropes. Oh, Seth, uh, Cedric building up his momentum. And he flies. And oh, oh and this time he kicks the Miz in the face and the Miz just barely stumbles. And the Miz throwing Cedric into the barricade hard. And Miz wiping his feet. And Se oh, big neck breaker from the Miz. Cedric still has some uh, some training needed by the Alpha Academy before he is uh, ready, I think, at least to represent. But nevertheless, we'll see how this goes. See if maybe he can turn it around. That was rough. Oh, Miz throws him into the steel steps. And the Miz, I highly doubt the Miz is against taking a count out victory. Let's take a look at this again here, ladies and gentlemen. Take a quick moment. Cedric just building out the one. And he missed the first dive. Miz ran his mouth. Cedric threw him back out. Cedric got back in here and just built up the momentum and still missed it in a way. I mean, he, gla he grazed the Miz's face. And Cedric called for the fans to hype him up here. And Cedric, oh! Cedric jumping off the, off the ring with a big clothesline. And Cedric picking the Miz up here. And he throws him into the ring. As the referee continues his count, Charles Robinson. And Cedric, what's he doing? Cedric head to the top rope. Big elbow drop from Cedric Alexander. As he calling for the Miz to get up to his feet. Nope, Miz. Some kicks to the back of the leg of Cedric. Oh, and another kick to the back leg, and oh, here we go. The world-famous it kicks, as the Miz likes to call them. And he hits him hard. Oh, but Cedric! Cedric grabbing the Miz's leg and pulling him down. And a big springboard, and he takes the Miz down by his legs. As the Miz laid out here. Cedric laid out. Who's going to get up to their feet first? And this King of the Ring... Oh, Cedric pops up! Oh, and Cedric... Fisherman, soup, oh, in a way, Cedric, ah, that's got to be a move learned right from the Alpha Academy. That's a move that looked like Chad Gable would perform. Nice move from Cedric Alexander. A big elbow from Cedric. And Cedric, oh, Cedric locking in the, uh, the Lion Tamer. No, oh, is the Miz going to tap? Is the Miz going to tap? Cedric once again must have learned this from the Alpha Academy. Of course, submission's a big thing there. And oh, Miz gets out of it. Miz throws Cedric to the side. And begins to kick Cedric in the face here. Miz throwing Cedric over the top rope. Miz leaving the ring. Miz grabs Cedric. Oh, throws him into the barricade hard. And Cedric, here again, just a beautiful lion tamer hold onto the Miz. And the Miz just, Miz was, it looked like Miz was going to tap, but Miz managing to fight out of it. And as the referee continues his count, oh, the Miz, skull crushing finale on the stage. That's got to hurt right on the ramp. As he throws Cedric down the ramp to the floor as he begins to walk towards him. And here you see it again. Picked him up and just hard skull crushing finale. As the crowd on their feet as the Miz throws Cedric into the ring. The Miz getting in himself. Crowd watching in anticipation here. No, skull crushing finale. And he goes for it again. Turns him around. And hits him with it one more time. Hard on the mat. Covers him and hooks the leg. One, two, three. The Miz making sure to hit three skull crushing finales to finish off Cedric Alexander.
as that's got to hurt. But congratulations to The Miz. The Miz is headed to King of the Ring. Cedric gave it a, a hard-fought battle, gave it a valiant effort. We got one of where is he standing now at the Alpha Academy? Is Chad just going to kick him out? Or is Chad going to give him another chance? I guess we're going to have to wait and see if Cedric did that. I don't know what exactly went wrong there, but this was impressive. I give Cedric credit for this, and I think Chad should be proud of that. That is a move that looks like it's ripped straight out of the Alpha Academy. We're going to see the skull-crushing finale onto the ramp. And then again in the ring. And for good measure, he hits it a third time. I think just to kind of make a statement that he was headed to King of the Ring. As we take a look at King of the Ring, there you see the official quarterfinal matchups. It's going to be Jey Uso taking on Xavier Woods. And The Miz taking on Seth freaking Rollins. As the Miz uh, celebrating here. Congratulations to the Miz. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back live here on Friday Night SmackDown. And it is now time for the segment I think we've all been waiting for. Jey Uso is going to be talking to his brother. It's going to be the Uso face off. Jay reportedly, uh, as he actually, I believe he said it himself, he got his brother's suspension lifted. So he's hoping to talk some sense into his brother Jimmy. Talk, hoping to wake him up, make him realize the error of his ways. And we're going to see how that goes here tonight as he makes his way out to the ring. As a crowd on their feet ready for main event, Jey Uso. As Jay getting up to the top. Yep, getting up to the ropes here. And the fans love Jay. And you see half the crowd going yeet with Jay. Main event, Jay Uso is now in your set. And there we go. The yeet all around the world. There we go. As Jay looking ready to go. Jay does have that huge King of the Ring match, as we just saw, taking on Xavier Woods. But we're going to have to see what happens here tonight first. As tonight cannot be ignored for Jay. This is a big moment for Jay. The opportunity to finally speak with his brother. As Jimmy uh, Jimmy lost to AJ Styles due to a mistake by Charles Robinson. He took it out on both AJ and Charles. Got suspended. Showed up at no mercy. And attacked AJ Styles before the match. And it's been suspended ever since. But Jay got his suspension lifted. Well here he comes. Coming out a lot like his cousin used to, Roman Reigns. Are we done? Okay. You see the shirt, Acknowledge Muse. Jimmy has kind of gone on this, this mental path that he's now the tribal chief. That he's the head of the table. And well, that's that's the problem, is he, he's trying to act like Roman Reigns. And Roman himself has uh kind of said a few things about Jimmy over on uh Raw Show WWE Spotlight, I believe it's called. But that's not important here. It's Jimmy getting into the ring and oh Jay not wasting any time. Exactly. I mean I mean, were you? Were you ever the right hand man? Ah, uh, uh, Jay's got you there. Yeah, and then he got suspended. Oh, 
Rikishi's here? Wait, what does he mean by that? Wait, wait, what? Wait, wait, that's so it's cool. Oh my god! He just Samoan Spike Rick so Solo Sakoa's on SmackDown? Wait, wait, what's Sakoa doing? Wait, Solo, what are you doing? Look at Rikishi! No! Solo! Oh, oh thank god. Okay. Rikishi stopped himself. What the hell? And Solo! Solo picking up Rikishi! No, 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 oh, oh, yes! Rikishi! Rikishi slams Solo down hard on the, on the floor there, on the metal grate. And Rikishi and Solo looking at each other. Solo, I, we can't hear what they're saying. Oh, wait, Solo! No, 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 no! Oh my god! I think Rikishi was trying to reason with his son. You know, Jay now. Jay making a sprint for a backstage area. What the hell is wrong with Solo? What the hell is wrong with Jimmy? For even allowing that. And no, wait a second. No! AJ Styles is here! The phenomenal one. AJ did say... Uh, what was it? Last episode of SmackDown, two episodes ago... That he was going to beat up Jimmy. He was going to kick Jimmy's ass when Jimmy was off suspension. And here he is going after Jimmy. Here we go. This is what I want to see. AJ throwing Jimmy over the top rope here. And AJ and Jimmy fighting it out. And he throws Jimmy into the steel step. Smackdown here just in chaos. No, Jimmy fighting back, kicks to the back of the leg of AJ Styles. And he throws AJ to the floor. And oh, big kick to the gut of AJ by Jimmy Uso. And Jimmy takes down AJ and starts throwing some hard punches. And we cut to the back. Oh, look at this Solo and Jay going out in a good old hockey fight. Beating the ever living hell out of each other. And a big clothesline from Jay Uso. As we cut back to the arena here, AJ with a big drop kick to Jimmy. As he's stomping on the knee of Jimmy Uso. Bounces off the rope. Big knee to the arm, or I think. As AJ picking Jimmy up now. Oh, Jimmy, kick to the leg of AJ. Now spare! Spare from Jimmy to the phenomenal one. And what, what is uh, Jimmy doing? Jimmy, oh, Jimmy throwing AJ to the outside of the floor. And Solo now here in the back is AJ out on the floor. Solo carrying Jay. You no, know, Jay fighting back out of it. And it's all, Jay cut Solo open. Oh, kick to the, uh, the knee, the thigh. And a big clothesline from Jay. And Jay picking up his, his uh, brother there, Solo. Oh, wait, Jay's got that hockey stick. I mean, we just saw him in a hockey fight. And oh, oh, AJ back up on his feet. Okay, I'm good with that. Oh, that's going to be one hell of a tag team match. As Oh, here we go. Oh, Jay now continue with the hockey stick. Oh, Solo fighting back. I mean, after what we just saw Solo do to Rikishi, I, I wouldn't want to get in the middle of this anyways. This is, this is family. This is blood. As Solo just... Oh, Solo throws the hockey stick down. Oh, oh, that, that's got to hurt. I don't know exactly what he just did, but that, that's got to hurt. As he throws Jay into the table there. Oh, wait, wait, what's Solo doing? Solo, oh. Suplex through the table, good God. Oh, I'm scared for Jay for uh, King of the Ring. 
But ladies and gentlemen, I'm being told we are running out of time. So thank you for joining us here tonight on Friday Night SmackDown. I hope you'll see us live at King of the Ring. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. Good night.